In this video, I will show you another example of source transformation theorem. This is the reference for the given circuit, fundamental of electric circuits, third edition, Alexander and Sadiko. This is the practice problem 4.6. Calculate the current I0 from the following circuit using source transformation theorem. See, this is our given network. This is the 7 ohm resistor and the current that is flowing through this 7 ohm resistor is I0. We have to calculate the current I0 using source transformation theorem. So what does source transformation theorem states? Source transformation theorem states that if I have a voltage source Vs in series with resistance Rs, we can convert that to a current source Is in parallel with a resistance Rs. Or if I have a current source Is in parallel with a resistance Rs, we can convert that to a voltage source Vs in series with a resistance Rs. That means we can convert the voltage source to a current source or a current source to a voltage source. If I want to convert this voltage source to a current source, the value of current source Is will be equal to Vs over Rs. Or if I want to convert this current source to a voltage source, the value of voltage source Vs will be equal to Is get multiplied with Rs. If I convert this current source to a voltage source, I will place this Rs in series with the Vs. Or if I convert this voltage source to a current source, I will place this Rs in parallel with the current source Is. This is what source transformation theorem states. And this is how we can convert a current source to a voltage source or a voltage source to a current source. Now see, we have to calculate the current through this 7 ohm resistor. The rule of the source transformation theorem is that the branch through which we have to calculate the current or voltage. We will keep that branch intact or untouched. That means we will not apply any theorem in this branch. Now see, let's say this is point A, this is point A, this will be point B, this will be point B, this will be C, this will be C, this will be C, this will be C. As we have to calculate the current through this 7 ohm resistor, we will not touch this 7 ohm resistance branch. Rather, we will start simplifying circuit from both sides of the network as this branch is in the middle of the circuit. If this branch is in the right side of the circuit, we will start our simplification from the left side of the circuit. Or if this branch is in the left side of the circuit, we will start our simplification from the right side of the circuit. Here it is in the middle. So we will start our simplification from both sides. Now see, this is A terminal and this is C terminal. Within this A and C terminals, you will see this is 6 ohm resistance and this is 3 ohm resistance. They are connected in parallel. And between this B and C terminals, I have this 1 ohm and this 4 ohm resistances connected in series. So I can reduce the number of resistances. If I replace these two resistances or these two resistances with corresponding equivalent resistance. Here, the corresponding equivalent resistance of this 6 ohm and 3 ohm will be equal to 6 into 3 over 6 plus 3 which will be equal to 2 ohm and the corresponding equivalent series resistance R equivalent 2 will be equal to 1 plus 4 equal to 5 ohm if I reduce the number of resistances in the circuit that will be the first reduction of the circuit see I have replaced the resistances with corresponding equivalent resistances now look between A and C terminals we have this 5 ampere current source in parallel with a 2 ohm resistance using source transformation theorem we can convert this current source to a voltage source and we will place this 2 ohm resistance in series with that voltage source. Let's say we will denote that voltage source with Vs1. That will be equal to 
आई एस वन इंटू आर एस वन और फाइव इंटू टू और इक्वल टू टेन भोल्ट नाउ सी व्हाट विल बी द पोलरिटी ऑफ द भी एस वन हेयर दिस करेंट सोर्स इज सप्लाइंग करेंट एट नोड ए और एट पॉइंट ए देयर फोर वी हैव टू गिव द पॉजिटिव टर्मिनल इन अपवर्ड डिरेक्शन एंड नेगेटिव टर्मिनल इन डाउनवर्ड डिरेक्शन सच दैट दिस भी एस वन सप्लाइज द करेंट इन नोड ए नाउ लुक बिटवीन टर्मिनल बी एंड सी वी हैव अनदर करेंट सोर्स इन पैरल विथ ए रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ फाइव ओ होम लेट से आई विल डिनोट द वोल्टेज सोर्स उथ भी एस आई कैन कन्वार्ट दिस कारेंट सोर्स टू ए वोल्टेज सोर्स भी एस टू दैट उल इक्वल टू आई एस टू इन टू आर एस टू हेयर आई एस टू इज इक्वल टू थ्री एंड आर एस टू इज इक्वल टू फाइव ओ होम सो आई उल गेट फिफ्टीन वोल्ट नाउ सी व्हाट विल बी द पोलरिटी ऑफ दिस भी एस टू सी दिस थ्री एम पी आर इज सप्लाइंग द कारेंट इन नोट बी टू मेनटेन द सेम करेंट डिरेक्शन यू उल सी द पजिटिव टर्मिनल अफ भी एस टू उल इन अपवर्ड डिरेक्शन एंड नेगेटिव टर्मिनल उल इन डाउनवर्ड डिरेक्शन सच दैट इट कैन सप्लाइज द कारेंट एट नोड बी सो इफ आई कन्वार्ट दिस कारेंट सोर्स उथ इट्स पैराल डिस्टेंस टू ए भोल्टेज सोर्स इन सीरीज उथ टू ओ होम रेजिस्टेंस एंड दिस कारेंट सोर्स टू ए भोल्टेज सोर्स भी एस टू इन सीरीज उथ ए रेजिस्टेंस अफ फाइव ओ होम दैट उल गिव द second reduction of the circuit so this will be our second reduction of the circuit this is point a this is point b and this is point c now see between this b and c terminals i have this 10 volt and this 5 volt sources connected in series this is our voltage source v s 1 let's say this is our voltage source v s Three, as this is our voltage source VS2. You will see they are connected in series, and you will see their polarity are the same because the negative terminal in downward direction here, the negative terminal in the left side, the positive terminal is in upward direction, and this positive terminal in the right side. So the overall voltage due to this 10 volt and this 5 volt source. Let's say I will denote that with Vs4 will be the sum of these two. That will be Vs1 plus Vs3, or equal to 10 plus 5, equal to 15 volt. So if I replace these two voltage sources with a single voltage source, that will give the third reduction of the circuit. See, I have replaced this with Vs. After that, you will see I will get a simple circuit like this. If you are familiar with nodal analysis, you can easily calculate the current I not. Let's say the node voltage of node B is equal to V1, and this C will be our reference node. This reference node will have a voltage of V not equal to zero volt. See, there is no current source in the circuit so all the currents will be unknown current let's say the current in this direction is i1 the current in this direction is equal to i2 as all the currents are unknown therefore i can apply kcl in node b if i apply kcl in node b i will get sum of outgoing currents that means this i1 plus i0 plus i2 will be equal to 0 here i1 is equal to v1 minus 15 over 2 i0 will be equal to v1 over 7 and this i2 will be equal to v1 minus 15 over 5 so if i apply kcl in node b i will get an equation like this ke shops current law so 
so i will get an equation like this if i take the lcm of the terms i will get 35 v1 minus 5 to 5 plus 10 v1 plus 14 v1 minus 210 over 70 equal to 0 if i take the sums and rearrange the equations i will get 59 v1 equal to 735 so i will get node voltage v1 is equal to 12.46 volt so here v1 is equal to 12.46 volt now see this i note is the current that is flowing through this 7 ohm resistor the voltage at this point is equal to 12.46 and the voltage at this point is equal to 0 volt so i naught will be equal to higher voltage minus lower voltage over the branch resistance this will be equal to 12.46 volt over 7 ohm this will be equal to 1.78 ampere so we can write the current through 7 ohm resistance i naught will be equal to v1 over 7 or 1.78 ampere so this is our answer i naught now if you look at the simulation of the circuit you will see this is our original circuit and the current that is flowing through this 7 ohm resistor that means i naught is exactly equal to 1.78 ampere okay that's it thank you